Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be representing fractions in different ways. So here I have my Freya model, and the number that I am going to be focusing on is 6 over 8, or the fraction of focus is 6 over 8. And I'm going to start off by drawing an area model. So we would need to have a model, and I'm going to go ahead and draw it for you. And I'm going to cut it in half because I need eight pieces to s that signals a total. So, one, two. So now I have eight. So, eight is the total fractional parts, and then this is the part, like the part that's shaded. So, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you represent fraction in a model, it looks like this. This would represent six over eight. And then in a number line, you'd have to draw your number line. Now all number line starts off at zero. In a fraction, it ends at one whole. So the numbers in between will go one by one. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, Five eighths, six eighths, and the last one, seven eighths, because after seven eighths, then you have one whole. So where would I represent six over eight on a number line? It would be right here. So that's six over eight. So that's what a number line looks like. So now we're gonna decompose. So I'm sure you're wondering, what does decompose mean when you're dealing with fraction? So decomposing means breaking down. Just like it, the word means, it means breaking down. So what we're basically doing, we're breaking down fraction parts so that we can find the sum of the total. So what would we do now? We'd break it down. We could go decompose it in many, many ways. But I'm going to go off with the basic. 1 8 plus 1 8, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I decompose it with ones. You can decompose a fraction by doing something like 3 over 8 plus 5 over plus 3 over 8. That would also give you 6. So you could decompose it in many ways. Um, but we're going to use that one for today. So they all have the same value. If you notice, this represents 6 eighths, 6 eighths. 6 eighths, and now we're going to find the equivalent, which fraction is equal to 6 eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my first bar for you to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is my first bar, and I'm going to go ahead and shade 6 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six eighths and now I need to figure out what is equal so let me shade it with my pen what is equal to six over eight so I'm gonna have the same exact model drawn down here so they could match up and then I'm gonna level them down one two four because remember half of four is eight so now that I know they're equal what would be equal to six over eight I know, three over four. Notice they take up the same spot. Three over four is equal to six over eight. So there you go. That's us representing fractions in different ways. More to come, I will do another video to make it a little bit more simpler. I want you guys to like, follow, and subscribe for more mathematical and English language arts.